Hi, I'm Colton with Porsche Center Calgary and uh, exciting car here. This is uh, one of our first 2020 McCann S's, the first one I've uh, done a video on. So um, 2019 saw a few changes for the McCann. Uh, the S got a little more power and, and a few little tweaks. For 2020, it's largely a carryover uh, from 2019, but there are a few uh, minor upgrades or new available options that I'll, I'll mention in a minute. Um, but let's talk about this guy in particular. So outside is black. This one is the basic black as opposed to the metallic. Some people prefer the metallic. Some don't. This is just a more basic black. I don't mind it at all myself. Uh, wheels, we upgraded those quite a bit. The 18 inch wheel is still the standard size for the McCann S. This one has a 21 inch uh, RS Spider design wheel probably my favorite. That used to be a 20 inch wheel. Uh, now they've just kind of blown up that design to a 21 and it looks awesome. Uh, we also do the colored crests in the middle of the wheel, uh, which always looks good. And then you'll notice up front, it has the big uh, kind of round sensor. That's because this one has adaptive cruise control. So all the mechanics will have regular crews, but this one has the adaptive so you can set your following distance. And if the car in front of you breaks, this one will break for you to maintain that gap. Uh, and you get forward emergency braking as part of that as well. And then if you look really close, you'll see another little camera on the front, and that's because it has the surround view cameras. So rear view camera is standard, so are sensors front and rear, but this one has that surround view, so you get the camera on the front, as well as one underneath each side mirror. It stitches those images together to give you a top-down view. Uh, works super well for parking, uh, pulling into tight spaces. You can really see everything around the car. Uh, and then some other exterior trimmings. We did the black uh, window surrounds, which we'll do on most of the cars, but not all. Standard on a Mechanis, that would be silver. Uh, and then we did the black roof rails, which you can't retrofit. So if you do want to put something on the top, you need to have the rails there from factory. Uh, and then this um, side blade down here, it's kind of a matte black as, uh, as standard, but here we did uh, painted uh, body color. So it all kind of flows, uh, flows nicely. Moving to the inside. This one has uh, what they call now the leather package, uh, which means the seats are leather, but you can actually have that still with just the standard interior. But uh, the leather package gives you leather wrapping the dashboard, as well as uh, kind of the three armrests, the ones on either door, and then the center armrest as well, wrapped in, uh, in genuine smooth finish leather, which is super nice. This one is that in the two tones. So you have black on the dash and the doors, but you have the garnet red uh, on the seats, which is to me just enough red. You can go to what they call the full leather in the black and red, but then you get a lot more red on the lower part of your dash and doors, which can be a little overwhelming. I find this a nice happy medium. You do also get a little bit of a red accent um, in the form of the red stitching on the, on the top of the dash, which also looks really cool. Uh, it's a touch I like a lot. And then uh, some other stuff we put on, onto this guy. Uh, we did the premium, uh, premium Plus package, which I recommend to everybody. It's got kind of all your must-have items uh, in one one shot. This one has a lot in addition to that, but um, in my mind, you, you can do Premium Plus and really stop there if you wanted to. So that gives you things like the seat upgrade, this one to the 14-way, so you have thigh extension and lumbar support, which you wouldn't have on the standard 8-way seat. Uh, and then you also get uh, seat ventilation, uh, you get heated seats in the back, heated seats in front being standard already, so is the heated steering wheel. Um, you get the panoramic sunroof in that Premium Plus package, you get uh, upgraded audio to the, to the Bose, um, as well as things like uh, ambient lighting, um, uh, auto dimming mirror, stuff like that. Uh, it's all kind of built into that package. Uh, also, they've put uh, Apple CarPlay into that package, which is great. They did that last year, uh, but then that's been upgraded a little bit for 2020. One of the few things they changed, CarPlay uh, is now wireless. You don't have to plug in to use the CarPlay anymore, which, which is handy. Uh, you can just kind of not think about it, leave the phone in your pocket, and you can still use all your apps on the screen. Uh, whereas you couldn't do that before, you did have to physically you know, tether it to the car. So a nice little tweak there. Uh, another option that they added this year and that we did put in this car is the inductive charging. So you don't even have to plug it in to charge it anymore. Just put it in that uh, armrest and it charges automatically. Uh, just a little bit less fiddling than you had before. So nice to see that as, uh, as an available option. Now, um, I think that really pretty well sums up this guy. What have I missed? Uh, oh yeah, this one has the Sport Chrono package, which isn't new, but uh, tweaked a little bit for this year. So um, Sport Chrono package changes the standard clock on the, on the dash to a stopwatch uh, and then gives you a few extra drive modes. So you have a Sport mode regardless, but when you get a Sport Chrono package, you also get a Sport Plus mode. Uh, and that was kind of it before. Now you have a drive mode selector on the steering wheel. So rather than just gaining a button, you have that dial and you can switch from Sport to Sport Plus to Individual, which we didn't have before. Uh, and then of course, just the normal mode. Uh, and then you also, with that uh, dial, get a little button in the center. They call it the Sport Response button. When you press that, uh, it kind of just primes everything. It's like a push to pass idea. You press that, all the power available to you kind of right now. Um, 
and you get a 20 second countdown clock on, on the screen to show you, you know, that, that's kind of your, your time frame for that full boost. You can uh, press the button again and restart it if you want to, uh, but that countdown clock will come up when you press the button. Really cool, it makes it feel like, like kind of an event uh, and not available last year on the old, um, uh, on the old McCann, the previous version. Uh, so nice new thing to see on these new cars. Uh, and that now uh, sums this guy up. So nicely, nicely equipped example, one of our very first 2020s. Uh, so do, uh, if you enjoy it, come down, take a look, see what we've got. We're starting to get a few 2020s in inventory, mostly still 19s, but that does mean you can maybe get a bit of a better deal on those 19s as well. So again, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching.